Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you guys so much for being with us today. Um, I went ahead and did my foundation and my eyebrows, just got the base done. Um, but I'm gonna do a create the look with the stuff that we got from our Boxy Lux this month. If you guys watched that video, you heard me rant. Um, I was very upset with Boxy Charm at the beginning of the month. I actually did like the box that I received, but I'm still frustrated with them. So it has not changed. But that doesn't just uh, doesn't dispute the fact that I got some really good products that I want to share with you guys. We're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna start with my contour. And the contour is the Park Avenue Princess. I know in the Boxy Charm video it had like a lot of glare back. So I don't know if that's like less shiny if you guys can see it, probably not. But it's a beautiful palette. It is a contour palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, this is not the one that I received in my Boxy Charm. If you guys watched that video, you heard me say that I had already purchased that palette. And so the one that I received in my box is stashed away for our thousand subscriber giveaway. It will be given away to one of our very lucky viewers as soon as we hit a thousand subscribers and we announce that giveaway. So that one will be stored away safe until that day. And I went ahead and pulled my own out of my collection. So that way you guys can see how the product is. And it's still like I'm creating it with something BoxyCharm gave me, even though they didn't technically give me this one. So I'm gonna go in with uh, Carrot, which is the first dark shade on that um, lineup. It is kind of like a medium dark shade. I'm just going right along my jawbone with it. I said jawbone, I meant cheekbones, but they're the same thing, right? You guys know I don't do like heavy contour all over my face. Really just do my cheekbones just to give them some sort of definition because I have a very round face. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna add my blush and my highlighter, which I did not receive from BoxyCharm, but I used um, two products that I really like the colors in that I think are going to work well with the eye look I'm gonna create from the Violet Voss Essentials palette that they provided me in my box this month. I don't normally wear this darker red without mixing it with something, so we'll see how it turns out. I do have to say I really like that it's a very fall color though. I'm very excited for fall. Okay, not too terrible. Um. Like I said, I don't normally wear these shades, but every time I do, I always feel so witchy and I like it. So it is a very pretty color. I think my issue with it is I just have really thin lips and so I don't like really, really dark reds on my lips, but you know what? It didn't look horrible, so. To make uh, an eye look that's going to match with it, I went through and I kind of picked out the colors that I think are gonna work well. I'm gonna do sand, dusty rose, terracotta, cinnamon, and I think either pink or cream. I may not use a ton of glitter because I'm gonna do the eyeliner and I don't know if I wanna do a lot of glitter with it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. I'm not really sure. Um, it's gonna be a wild ride, I think. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply the tape. And we'll apply the tape. And I'll just get like a good little sized thing. I try and make sure it's like not wrinkled at all, my skin or the tape, because I don't want to make like some sort of weird bump. I've had that happen before. But this trick is actually very, very convenient if you've never tried it. I think most people probably have at this point, at least tried it at some point in their life because it is just so ding dong handy. Um, okay, so we're going to go in with terracotta, which is the orange shade, and we're just gonna go from the outside in. God, that's a pretty, that matches, oh, it matches my pumpkin. Do you see that? It's so Halloween-y, I'm in love. Oh, I was so excited that I got this palette. I, I mentioned that in the BoxyCharm video as well. I think they had three eyeshadow palettes you could get in your Boxy Lux, and I was really like, please let me get this one. And like I said, I don't know why, I know at least one was a really nice sized two, um, not two faced, tart one. And then there was another one, and the, whatever, I don't remember the brand, but whatever brand it was, it's one that I love as well. So I would have been happy getting any of them, but I just really like the colors in this one. I put the tape on the side a little too low. It should be like kind of up here as well. But you know what? I'm just gonna hope for the best. I can always go in and clean it up a little bit later if I need to. Hopefully I won't need to very much, but I would have under normal circumstances probably brought it up a little bit higher here. Um, we're now gonna go in with the shade Sand, which is probably the most neutral color they have right next to Terracotta. I'm just gonna go up here and kind of blend it out. It's actually got a little bit more of an orange tint to it than, or peachy tint, not really orange, peachy tint to it than I was expecting, but that's okay. It actually blends really nicely with that terracotta shade. 
sweetness. All right, now I'm gonna come in and with the Dusty Rose, which is the kind of like mauve pink color, I'm gonna go down here along my eyelid and just bring it in and we're gonna go ahead and prepare for the eyeliner. Prepare for the eyeliner. For the reckoning, if you will. Actually, before we do the eyeliner, I'm gonna do one more thing. One more little thing. And that is in that, that shade cream, the glitter shade that's all the way at the top. It's very white. I'm just gonna go under my brow bone. Just highlight that. And then I'll blend it out. Sweet deal. All right, so time for the moment of truth. We're gonna go in with the Hank and Henry Slick With It Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Blickety Black. And we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray that I don't have a mental breakdown. Because normally I do. I'm already scared. I'm terrified right now. That's just about the easiest applying eyeliner I think I've ever used in my whole life. It's just right, it, like I don't even know what's making it on my eye and what's just going on the tape because it's just so easy to spread. For those of you at home watching saying your eyeliner technique is not good, you're right, it's not. It is not good. I'm not ever gonna dispute that. I think, I, I don't know, this is part of the issue with the tape technique is I can't see exactly how it looks until the tape is removed and then at that point it's like I'm on my own. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this really nice angled brush from I got that I got from Aesthetica. I don't remember if I got this in BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I got it in one of the two, but it is an eyeliner brush. I think I actually got it in, in BoxyCharm and it came with an eyeliner as well. But in that shade um, black, in the shade black, uh, from our Violet Voss palette, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of like darken up and set at least this little corner right here. And I'm gonna hope for the best. I wanna remove it now to see how it looks, but I don't, I don't wanna get upset. So I'm not gonna do that till the end. <laughs> and we're gonna hope for the best. All right, moving on from that eye to this eye. Now making the match is not ever gonna happen, so I'm just once again gonna hope for the best. You know, not terrible. Relatively good. I would I would say not not terrible. Better than I could have done without the tape. I know that. That is for certain. I'm not I'm not upset with that side. Alright, let's see how bad the other side is. You know, they're not even. They're not great. They're not good. But we're gonna fix them, so. All right, so I spent about five minutes off camera trying to fix these. This side's not horrible. This side um, has a slight drug addiction and a possible schizophrenia. It's fine. What I'm gonna do to adjust is I'm going to do uh, some shadow under it to try and mask the fact that this one looks like it fell down a flight of stairs. And then um, I'm going to actually do a little bit of concealer on my inner um, corner and I'm going to put some gold color, or not gold color, some shimmer color there. And hopefully it will not turn out absolutely atrocious. I do have to say um, I hate doing eyeliner. You all know this. Um, but it actually didn't turn out as bad as it could potentially have. Um, and I didn't spend as much time fighting with it as I thought I was going to. So uh, positivity, glass half full type of day. Um, I'm going to go back in with terracotta and I'm just going to go under the eye with it. And then I'm going to go in with the shade cinnamon, which is like the dark kind of brownish red tone. And I'm just going to go on my underline there, not under the eye, the eyeliner itself, just on my un like under eye thing, eyelid. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, 
All right, and then I'm gonna take the blending brush and I'm gonna get that sand color and I'm just gonna go all under the eye with it. And then I am going to go in with pink. That's the name of the shade and it's pretty easy to tell why it's called that because it's like a very glittery pink color. And I am just gonna get a little bit on this brush and put it right here. All right guys, so that's what we did. I'm gonna go in and finish it off with eyeliner, or not eyeliner, uh, mascara now because you know I can't tell how I like it until I see the finished product with eyeliner because that really changes everything. If I really wanted to have a mental breakdown, I could try and put fake lashes on, but I am not trying to do that. It is like five o'clock and I have, yeah, it's 5.15 and I have to be at work at 1 a.m. So I don't need to have a mental breakdown before I head to work. Not feeling that. Okay, so this is the final product. You know, considering how much I hate uh, eyeliner, which is uh, with passion, uh, I think I only hate putting on false eyelashes more than I hate that. Um, it doesn't look horrible and I really like the colors. Um, very fall. Uh, the only thing that's not really fall is the pink color I put on the inside of my eyelids. If I did it again, I probably would use, I think they have a pretty yellow or gold shade. They do. And it's called gold. It's yellow color. It's called gold. Um, I probably would put that on there instead because I think that would have aesthetically worked a little bit better with the orange, but you know what? Hindsight's 2020. So next time. Um, but yeah, so recap, we did a full face feature. Uh, using the products I received in my Boxy Lux, that was the Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette from Tarte, the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series Eyeshadow Palette, the Hank and Henry Slick With It Bla Blickety Black Eyeliner Pen, and then the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rubino. So this is what I've created. Um, I did get other stuff in the box as well, skincare stuff, face masks, and a hair product, a hair styling tool. Um, those were not featured in this one, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. Um, please remember when we hit a thousand subscribers, which hopefully is soon, because if you haven't subscribed already, you really should, and you should tell your friends to do so. Um, we will be giving away the Park Avenue Princess palette and the full size of the Stila Stay All Day Rubino. So those are something that you guys can purchase or purchase that you guys can own for yourself if you enter our giveaway and you're our lucky winner. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, please go subscribe. We are so close to hitting 100 subs, and then after we hit 100, we're really steamrolling towards a thousand. I know that's a big goal. So I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay girly with a dark twist.